Hi, our dear learners and paraclitchers, our parents. Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Teleturuan. I am Ma'am Mary Ann Alguerero, Teacher 2 from Honorato Simpere Senior Memorial Science High School, your teacher presenter for Math 7, Quarter 2, Week 2. Our topic is Conversion on the Units of Measurements. Towards the end of this episode, you will be able to convert measurement from one unit to another in both metric and in the system. Let us have a recall. Choose the most realistic measurement. The height of a doorway. Is it A, 7 inches, B, 7 yards, C, 7 feet, D, 7 meters? Correct. Letter C, 7 feet. Number 2. Choose the most realistic measurement of the capacity of bottled water in the picture. A. 50 ml B. 500 ml C. 5 liters D. 50 liters Correct. B. 500 ml Number 3. Choose the most realistic measurement for the weight of a mobile phone. A. 138 milligrams B. 138 grams C, 138 kilograms. D, 138 pounds. Correct. B, 138 grams. For number four, which does not belong to the group? A, inch. B, yard. C, kilometer. D, foot. Correct. C, kilometer. For our lesson, let us first listen to this skit entitled King Henry Sword. Written by yours truly. Our characters Narrator, Advisor Metro, King Henry, General. A long time ago in England, there lived a king named King Henry VIII. He was a jolly old English king. Even though metrics had been used in England for a long time, King Henry had a difficulty in converting English to metric units. One day in his chamber, King Henry was holding a two and a half feet long sword given by his general. I wonder how long is this two and a half feet sword in centimeters? Forgive me, Your Highness, for I still don't know the answer. General, I think it's time for you and me to learn how to convert units of length from English to metric units. I summon advisor metro. At your service, my king, to convert to and a half feet to centimeter, first, find conversion factors of feet to centimeters. Advisor Metro handed the folder of conversion factor of the units of length to the king and general. Conversion factors for the units of length from metric system to English system. 1 meter is equal to 39.37 inches. 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. 2.54 cm is equal to 1 inch. 1.609 km is equal to 1 mile. There is no conversion factor of feet and centimeters, but they notice that there is a conversion factor of meters and feet. That is, 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. I think we can use this. 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet, so this 2.5 feet sword is less than a meter. I do understand that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, so that 2.5 feet sword is less than 100 centimeters. You are both correct, Your Highness and General. Now tell us how we can use these conversion factors. 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. For us to know how long is this 2.5 feet sword in centimeter. Our goal is to convert feet to centimeters. First, we can convert feet to meters, then meters to centimeters. To convert 2.5 feet to meters, express 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet as a fraction. We can have two fractions. 1 meter over 3.28 feet or 3.28 feet over 1 meter. Great mind, Your Highness. So, Advisor Metro, which of the two fractions must be used? That is a good question, General. 
Choose the fraction desired unit over the given unit. Since we want to convert 2 and a half feet to meters, our desired unit is meter. So, we must choose the fraction 1 meter over 3.28 feet. Multiply the given measurement 2.5 feet by 1 meter over 3.28 feet. Next, cancel the units that appear in both numerator and denominator. Now simplify 2.5 times 1 over 3.28 meter. Now simplify 2.5 times 1 over 3.28 meters. 2.5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2.5. Then 2.5 divided by 3.28, which is equal to 7600 meter. So, 2.5 feet is equal to 0 0.76 meter. So, the next step is to convert 0 0.76 meters to centimeters. To convert 0 0.76 meter to centimeters, just repeat the following steps. Step 1. Find the conversion factor between the given unit and the desired unit. In this case, we have 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Step 2. Express the conversion factor as a fraction with the desired unit on the numerator and the given unit on the denominator. We have 100 centimeter over 1 meter. Step 3. Multiply the given measurement by the conversion factors. So 0 0.76 meter multiplied by 100 centimeter over 1 meter. Step 4. Cancel the units that appear in both numerator and denominator. Now, meter will be cancelled. Step 5. Simplify and write your answer with the desired unit of measurement. We have 100 over 1 is 100. So we have 0 0.76 times 100 centimeters. So the final answer is 76 centimeters. Another solution. Multiply 2.5 feet by 1 meter over 3.28 feet and 100 centimeters over 1 meter simultaneously. That is the chaining conversions. So simplifying, first cancel the units that appear in numerator and the denominator. We have feet and meters. Now 2.5 times 1 times 100 is equal to 250. All over, 3.28 times 1 is 3.28. So we have, as a final answer, 76 centimeters. So 2.5 feet is equal to 76 centimeters. Alas, now I know how to convert units of length from one unit to another in both metric and English system. Thank you so much, Advisor Metro. Wait, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. That is our way to convert metric units with prefixes kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and milli, and with the following base units for the length meter, for the weight gram, and for the capacity liter. Yes, General, I remember that method from which we had the so-called metric converter. We have metric units of length weight and capacity on a line. The base units are located at the middle between metric units with prefixes kilo, hecto, and deca on its left, and on its right, the metric units with prefixes deci, centi, and milli. Now let us use the metric converter to convert 0 0.76 meters to centimeters using the metric converter. First, count the spaces from unit meter to centimeters. Move the decimal point of 0 0.76 to the right by 2 units, since meter going to the unit centimeter is 2 units from left to right. So, 0 0.76 meter is 76 centimeter. Another example, convert 500 milliliters to liters. Count the number of spaces from unit milliliters to liters. Since milliliters going to the unit liters is 3 units from right to left, then move the decimal point of 500 to the left by 3 units. So 500 milliliters is 0 0.5 liters. Now tell us what have you learned from listening to King Henry Sword Skip. Correct. You have learned how to convert the units of length in both metric and English system using the following steps.
In step 1, find the conversion factor between the given unit and the desired unit. Step 2, express the conversion factor as a fraction with the desired unit on the numerator and the given unit on the denominator. Step 3, multiply the given measurement by the conversion factor. Step 4, cancel the units that appear in both numerator and denominator. Step 5, simplify and write your answer with the desired unit of measurement. Now, for converting units of measurement from metric to metric system, you may use the metric converter. There you have it. Please stay tuned for more discussion on our lesson about conversion and the units of measurement. We will be right back.